Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I am going to be doing a reading for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo in your chart, chances are this could resonate with you, Leo. But do not force messages to fit as this is a general reading. Please bear in mind that the roles could be reversed in the tarot. So keep an open mind and do not take anything that does not fit your story. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It is very, very much appreciated. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world today. Messages for Leo, please. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. We've got the Two of Swords, could be dealing with an air sign, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, let's get some more. Page of Wands. Five of Cups. And the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Messages for Leo. Ten of Swords. Interesting. The Lovers in reverse. Two more, please. Two more, please. The moon. Mm. Got a couple more. Three of Wands in the reverse. And the Queen of Cups. The Empress in the reverse. Ace of Wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Empress in the reverse. Leo. You could have dealt with a, oh, sorry, you could have dealt with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio here, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, said Gemini, or a fire sign, a fellow fire sign here, Sagittarius. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, whoever I'm picking up on, you've been through a situation that has made you really, really closed off here to love. With the Two of Swords and the Ace of Cups, I feel like you're emotionally closed off. You've been through some sort of situation where there was a lot of betrayal, some sort of betrayal a lot of pain associated with this situation and this could have been with the lovers in reverse somebody that you had a deep past life soulmate type of connection with here and it, it caused you a lot of pain in the situation here i feel like you are struggling to move forward with the eight of wands in the reverse and it could be that you might be feeling a little bit stuck right now i feel like with the five of cups in the reverse you're really trying to come out of I feel, I feel like you're a little bit conflicted in terms of you want to come out of this feeling of feeling like you've lost something feeling like you are in pain in heartbreak and so on but I really feel like you've you've, you've been hurt to the point where it's hard for you to to move forward I'm just getting a really stuck energy and it could be that you, you might be turning down a lot of opportunities with that page of wands in the reverse. It could be that you've had a knock to your confidence because we do have the Empress in the reverse also. And I just get a lot of sad energy with you. It's like you've gone through something and you're really, really struggling to turn a corner. You're really, really struggling to move forward, Leo. Queen of Cups in the reverse, you could be feeling sort of emotionally void, I'm getting. And it's almost like you've lost hope here. 
almost like you've lost hope. You've got the three of wands in the reverse here. Something was revealed to you with the moon card also in the reverse in a past situation. And I just feel a lot of sad energy, Leo. Two of swords. Two of swords, please. Stay. Two of swords. The tower. Something really, really shook you here. And I feel like this was something that you wasn't seeing or you didn't see coming here. Definitely. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. You're really closed off, Leo. I feel really sad energy. The Empress has come out in the reverse. It was under the deck. You were treated really unfairly because now the justice is in reverse. And this treatment, this unfair treatment, caused you to really doubt yourself. It really knocked your confidence. You've really become, I'm, I'm saying, I want to say emotionally void, emotionally closed off to a lot of things here, Leo. You've become a hermit. You've, you've withdrawn. You've withdrawn. You, you could have ghosted somebody or you're just keeping to yourself at this moment in time. And you're all up in your head. Eight of Swords. There's a lot of conflicts, confl mental conflicts going on with you. You could be working a lot to take your mind off things, focusing on your money, focusing on other things, things that bring you stability as a way to distract yourself from this, this energy of just feeling pretty trapped and pretty stuck. Nine of Wands, yeah, you definitely went through a lot with this situation here. And I just get a sense that you're, you're, you're stuck. Really stuck here. Page of Wands, Leo. Seven of Wands. You're really guarded. Page of Wands. In the reverse, clarified by the Seven of Wands. You're guarded towards new opportunities. You could be turning down people or you could have turned down love offers. I'm getting from people here. And I just feel a sense of guardedness with that Two of Swords also. Nine of Swords, really painful, stuck up in your head. You could have dealt with a fire sign here. Or this could be you just, just feeling a sense of not, not almost like it's not your confidence to, this, to the point of you're really off balance, you're emotionally off balance here. And you're still going through that state of trying to heal. I, I do get a sense that you are trying to heal with that. Five of Cups in the reverse. Let's clarify that Five of Cups. You are trying to heal, but I just get a sense that whoever I'm speaking to, Leo, you're really struggling to move past something here. Five of Cups in the reverse. King of Knight of Wands and the Queen of Co Coins. You could have dealt with someone that was particularly inconsistent with you. Could have been a player energy here. Fellow Fire Sign here. Queen of Coins, it really, I'm just getting a lot of emotional instability here. This person could have taken some sort of fire, fast action and left you out in the cold. Left you high and dry, I'm getting, in order to go and seek some type of attention elsewhere. Here. Fast action. Leaving you out in the cold in order to go and have some sort of attention elsewhere. And this is what you're healing from. Nine of Cups in the reverse. This person made you really unhappy here. And I feel like you're really struggling to move beyond this, this unhappy feeling here. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Four of Swords. Definitely, you're really stuck. Five of Swords. This person could have put you through a lot of mental conflict, a lot of mental games with the Five of Swords here. Sorry you're going through this, whoever I'm speaking to. The lovers in reverse. This person could have chosen someone else over you. Yeah. This six of coins. This person could have collaborated with others. Rejected you. Made you feel as though you wasn't the person that they wanted to be with. Or they rejected you and went towards something else. 
almost like he was just left in left in abyss. Yeah, this person could have cut you off really harsh. Queen of Swords in reverse. Could have said really hurtful things to you, really knocked your confidence. Absolutely. It's caused you to just, you know, feel like you don't really want to work on anything. It could be that you're just really, really guarded, really, really reserving your energy from putting any work in to work with anybody else and it's because you was treated really unfairly with the justice in reverse here ten of swords king of swords in the reverse you dealt with somebody who made some sort of other choice with the two of wands in the reverse didn't choose your your direction or your path and the king of swords you were dealing with somebody who was a bit I'm getting narcissist vibes, I'm getting talked down on you vibes, I'm getting, somebody was really unkind to you, could have used emotional blackmail I'm getting, really played with you, toyed with you emotionally and that ten of swords, a lot of pain here, Leo. Could have been really selfish with the king of coins here really really selfish really heavy energy and there's a queen of wands at the bottom of this deck and they moved they could have moved yeah six of swords also they definitely moved yeah three of coins yeah okay let me show you this we've got the queen of wands here in the reverse we've got that six of swords so they move towards this queen of wands in the reverse that's my other woman card and then we've got this three of coins so they went to collaborate with another person and then we've got the two of coins two of cups sorry so that's getting together into some sort of partnership with somebody else so they could have they definitely chose somebody else over you here and this person didn't give or was slow to give you any type of commitment with that knight of coins here very slow moving energy knight of cups they could have emotionally manipulated you and really made you stuck up in your head here with the eight of swords a lot of emotional turmoil here let me get another deck here and the devil is at the bottom of the deck. Very toxic person you were dealing with, Leo. Knight of coins in the reverse. Three of cups. They definitely put you in some sort of competition here. Failed to give you commitment. Put you in some sort of competition. Could have been a very immature person with the page of cups. I'm going to get another deck to see what could be coming towards you here. Anything new coming towards Leo? Really heavy energy. Anything new coming towards Leo? This is definitely past energy. Yeah, and I just feel like you're really trying to move through this stuck feeling. Anything new for Leo? Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. Could be getting into a new work situation or you've started some type of new endeavour. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Feeling coming out of your head taking time to heal here could be that you dealt with a fire sign an air sign ace of wands new beginning here getting rid of the toxicity here with the devil in the reverse new beginning you could have a passionate new work endeavor coming a passionate new collaboration of some kind to come together this could do, be to do with work with that nine of coins that we saw earlier here seven of pentacles here waiting for some sort of growth to happen definitely could be to do with your money here and you're putting an end to this it could be an, a fellow fire sign putting an end to the pain putting an end to dealing with inconsistent people here putting an end definitely an end to a cycle here with the wild card anything else coming towards leo please any other messages for leo the empress is in the upright in this deck i cannot make it up here 
yourself, looking after number one, becoming the empress, becoming the empress, from the reverse to the upright. This is what you don't see coming. Clarify the empress, please, spirit. Clarify the empress for Leo, the sun. The sun, happiness, that's you. Happiness, sunshine, growth, abundance, happiest card in the deck. After rain, there is sun. Hang in there, Leo. We're putting an end to the disappointment here. The Five of Cups in the reverse has come out again. It's coming towards Leo. Love, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, abundance, new opportunity, love, self-love, working on yourself, working on your stability here. This is what you don't see coming. Wherever you are in this timeline, it could be that you're in the midst of feeling trapped in this pain or you could have just come out of a situation where you're cycling through this, this feeling of not being able to move forward. Or you could be at the other end where you're, you know, looking to your horizons and looking for something new. You're looking for, you know, a renewal. You're looking for the end to, to pain and, you know, wherever you are in this timeline, just know that there is better coming for you, Leo. King of Cups definitely could have a love offer coming from a water sign. Success, Six of Wands. This is what you don't see coming. This could be self-love. This could be a, a water sign that's coming towards you. A water sign you know already, possibly, here. Yeah, success. One more for Leo. I cannot make it up. And I'm going to end the reading right there. The star. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Whatever wish fulfillment looks like to you, you don't even see it coming. Could be that you could be in the public eye, you could be getting some sort of recognition for something here. Lots of eyes on you. But this is what you don't see coming, Leo. I love to see it. Keep focusing on your healing here. Keep focusing on your healing and just move yourself forward. It takes time. It takes perseverance. But all I can say is to just ground yourself and just know that whatever situation this is, and if this, this resonates with you, that better is coming and sunshine always does come after a storm. Leo, sending you love and light. Please like, share and subscribe to the video if you've taken something from the reading. I wish you all the best and I will speak to you very soon.